Hello and welcome back to part 10 of our Fresh Dweller walkthrough. Uh, we've just finished with clearing out West Virginia lumber. And we are now going to, instead of, go back to talk to Duchess to complete the Hunter for Hire quest. I'm going to load this turn that off this miscellaneous quest of let's find out what this key unlocks if you remember we found this key <clears throat> on the corpse of a vault overseer there in an abandoned shack not long after we left the vault if you can remember there's the moonshiner shack there's the isolated cabin where we found the corpse of Reuben. <clears throat> so we're right here at this crossroads. We're going to follow the road around and then north up here to find out what this key unlocks. We'll warn you, I'll have to be a little bit careful. This crossroads right here uh, spawns, is an event spawn, and sometimes what spawns there is way beyond what we can handle at this point. Let's see, we are also, I did before take the opportunity <clears throat> before I left the lumber company to sleep in one of those nice beds uh, to get well tuned at the stage there in front of the throne and do some eating and drinking you can see our, we've got some brain fungus going looks like our rad stag just dropped off let's go ahead and, and boost that back up and we're almost to level 10 I talked about it unceasingly in the last episode that we will definitely <clears throat> get the shotgunner's perk when we hit level 10. Um, hopefully you've been in your playthrough, you've been a little, you've had more luck than me and you are already at level 10. Let's see, do we not have any more? Here's some rad stag. And we're also able to take advantage of the suit of power armor that was there inside the lumber mill. We got that fantastic shotgun from the uh, leader of the pack quest. Again, I encourage you to farm that, use it as often as possible. It's a great source of one-star legendary armor and weapons that can make a real difference here early in the game. Let's see, so we've got our 10 mil. and our 45 rifle revolver rifle Let's see what's in the back of this truck besides this canoe ah might have jumped a little too far what again be careful as the events can spawn down here. I've seen raider gangs. I've seen protectons and ibots. Oh. Friendly rad stag ran right by. We have this crater. Let's see. Oh, it's just gravel. I think we can pass on that. Yes, we're going to give the, the intersection there a wide berth. <coughs> As we head this way up into the woods, as you can see there's a little vault icon.
I can hear the game music through my headphones. I normally don't have that turned on. <clears throat> and there was an update today. I guess I should have visited the settings. So we'll get the treat of this music. So here's this little path. I'll show you the path that leads down to the intersection. We're going to follow it up. Here to the right, we see a little parking lot with a volleyball net set up. I'm going to leave that scrap right now. Continue to follow the path. Maybe this location bonus will put us over the top. Let's see. <clears throat> we'll discover the location of Vault 51. Now we're not going to go in Vault 51. Not just yet. This is where Reuben came from. Instead, we're going to go over here. We see this great poster. This poster also, if you don't follow this walkthrough, you may have seen this poster in uh, various railroad stations. If you read it, it will give you this location. leave all this plastic. I see some sugar bombs back there though. Sugar bombs are an important ingredient for something that we'll want to make later. Using Mothman eggs you can make, there's a recipe for something called brain bombs. Let's see, let's make sure there's nothing over here. You know how I am with the looting. Nothing here. And See that this truck is backed up. Ah, come on. There we go. And in this back of this truck, find a chessboard. Glue, that's good. Get some more kickballs. And we find this corpse of a well armored vault dweller. A couple of them, unfortunately. No, not much loot. Wish we could have taken some of that armor. That would have been nice. And here's this button to activate. Again, we'll, uh, come back for all of this when we investigate the vault at a later time. For now, what we want to do <clears throat> is find out what the key unlocks and by doing this we're going to go to the Shelter's Claim Center. We can put this weapon away. And here we are down here in this shelter. We have lots of good stations. There's a weapon station right there. And we have Mr. Clark. Lots of good stuff to loot here. And, let's see, I hear, I'm going to turn this radio off real quick. Just in case that comes through, don't want to be copyright issues. Let's talk to Mr. Clark. Oh, a visitor. Oh, I thought this day would never come. I haven't had a visitor in ages. Welcome to the Appalachian Shelters Claim Center, visitor. I'm called Mr. Clark. It's my job to help eager new customers such as yourself 
take your first step into the miraculous world of shelters. Oh, cursory analysis suggests you are likely here to... Goodness, forgive my tone. I'm experiencing some memory issues. <clears throat> As I was saying, a bright-eyed visitor like yourself must be here to claim your free shelter today. Is that right? Yeah, that's it. Splendid. Oh, before I can distribute your shelter to you, you'll need to register as a shelter owner. The terminal in the back will guide you through it. Once you've finished registering, return to me, and I'll distribute your free shelter to you. Okay, so let's do that. Let's go over here to this kiosk. I'm so grateful to have a customer. I was beginning to think this day would never come. And let's do that. Let's go ahead and register. So we can see here's Ruben's notes, and they are password required, but we'll come back to that in a minute. Let's go ahead and get our shelter. It looks like you've successfully registered as a shelter owner. Congratulations, visitor. A marvelous new world of home expansion awaits. I'll distribute your free shelter to you, along with some materials to build your shelter's entrance, as a personal thank you for being my customer. Before we part ways, visitor, is there anything else I can help you with? I'm afraid not. Mr. Gill was quite paranoid about things like that. He kept his effects in a locked safe and always carried the key on him. If he wrote down the password, he likely locked it in there. Hmm. Well, we don't know where Mr. Gill is. Now I'll let you uh, read all of the options there. I recommend that you do. Well to you, along with my thanks for being my first customer. Enjoy your new home, visitor. <clears throat> Although I will do my best. Yay, and here we level up. Let's see what kind of goodies we get for completing this quest. And hopefully, it would be nice if we got the shotgunner card for free in our deck. Let's see. If not, we're going to put a point in strength and add it. Nope. Although the through hiker is going to help us quite a bit. So let's put that point in strength. And... As promised, there's our shotgunner card. So let's put that in. And let's take off this packing light to add the through hiker card. That should help us quite a bit with carry weight. So, following the prompt, <clears throat> we can get his password, which is Helen, someone special to Mr. Gill. Some bobby pins, always needed, as you've all observed my lockpicking skills, if you, as you've been following along. Now, we can go back to the terminal. And I'll let you read the log entries. Talking about Vault 51. How he can't get in. So now he's getting into Vault 51. Where he's, as he goes in, he's referred to as Mr. Candidate instead of Mr. Gill. Zax. 
Remember, kill Zax was one of the things that Ruben had on his list. So anyways, lots of good information. I'll let you go back and find that and read it. Let's do a little looting. Had this neat Vault Boy statue that it won't let us have. Various brochures. I do want this fan over here. Come on. And a typewriter. Now I went ahead and used both the uh, armor workbench and weapons workbench. <clears throat> Already back there at the West Virginia Lumber Company. So there's no need to upgrade, although here, are these some vault suits that we can take? Yes, vault 51, but it doesn't let us take the suits. That would be kind of neat. Plus this super cool statue of Vault Boy with a sawed-off shotgun holding the head of not sure what. He's not very happy. Some high voltage Hefe. So it looks like he has plenty of booze in here. And food. More sugar bombs. Not gonna let us get that box. Some solo cups. So we have a cook station here. A chem station. Now let's see. I'm not sure if I if you go to smelting, you can make fertilizer. And that's what we do with our spoiled meat, spoiled vegetables, and spoiled fruits. Like we also have, can make some aluminum scrap. So, should be good to go. Let's check this for a cola. Aha! Little Nuka Colas, that's good. And let's exit the vault. Matter of fact, I might pour take. Now our next stop is going to be this Ehrenholt farm. So I'm going to put that in our crosshairs directly to the south. Let's see, we could use a little food and water. We've got about seven minutes left of some of this goodness. Let's go ahead and drink one of those Nuka Colas. Almost forgot to sort by spoilage. There we go. Topped off with the food. There we go. How about some water? All right. And then also, let's see, we're going to have our revolver rifle in one hand. Now let's load up this shotgun.
And we're off. <clears throat> now I'm going to pass on that wrench. Oh. I believe that's all we can get out of this. Now as we get to the farm, we will find that it has been overrun by mongrels. Oh, what's going on here? Cultists. Let's go for, how about a headshot? Let's, let's, let's see what's good cover here. Oh, we have this tree. Let's use this tree as cover and see if we can't. It's hard to see. We'll just retreat to the tree. Well, they appear to be deep in prayer, because I don't see them swarming me yet. Oh, that was... Good deal. Well, that worked out well. Let's see what kind of scratch we get off of these guys. All right, good stuff. I guess here's their little Mothman cult altar. Thank you very much, gentlemen. We'll be moving on. <clears throat> here we have the farm. I'm gonna take this little crosswalk Rock, crosswalk bridge over. Now there's usually yes a few mongrels over there by that shed. Get back into sneak mode. See if we can't snipe one or two from over here. This is also the location of the alpha male that's alluded to in well oh yeah there's back at the crossroads we don't want to get involved there <coughs> go back to the headshot one down. Two down. Three down. Oh, there's the other one. What happened? I heard it. Seems to have died all on its own. The glitch that does sometimes happen. Let's see what kind of shotgun action we can get. <clears throat> I think that's all of them. There should not be any more that I remember. Now in the back of this truck. We find the corpse of Sean Aaron Holt.
So we can take his stuff and read his journal. So we have John and I are sick of hearing Loyal talk about Chicago all the damn time. Lowell wants us to pack up and head that way. He wants to see if any of the cousins survived. So we have the three, Sean, John, and Lowell. John and I can't find the key to the granary where we hoarded all the ammo and medicine. Radiation sickness has taken the best of me. Without meds, I'll probably die within days. And as we can see, sorry, it appears that he has. Ooh, fishing rod? Don't forget that. Jump out here and get these. Oh, I don't want to... So, John is around here. We'll find him in a minute. You can see we have three houses. I guess each of the three brothers had a house. And then there's a barn. Oh, Pencil in the mailbox. Let's get that. <clears throat> and we'll go into house number one. They aren't identified, so we don't know whose house is whose. It's usually a rad roach, either down here or upstairs, so let's be on the lookout for that. Kitchen scale, fantastic. Oh, a recipe that we don't know. Take that sugar and that hot plate. I guess we'll take these spices. Some cram. Yum yum devil eggs. Now well, this is all just the regular. We'll pass on that. Nothing in the cupboard. Lots of bone here, lots of antlers. Oh, here's the rad roach. I guess some kind of glitch is going on where creatures are deciding to end their own lives. They're so scared of us as we approach that they just immediately fall dead. Again, more ant. Oh, a fancy. Take that for the silver. We don't need a bottle. Here in the bathroom. I'm going to leave the clown and the doll head playing in the bathroom. Oh, circuit board duct tape. More good crap. Someone's fisherman hat. That might be fun to wear. Give you a unique look. And that's it for house number one. Oh, here's a banjo that we can play if we want to tune up. Also a mouth harp that we can play if we want to tune up. So another good place with good beds. You'll find that you can rest and tune up here. Oh, I hear, see if we can't find the source of that. Let's turn that off real quick. Oh, there we go. Find a female skeleton in a wheelchair here. <clears throat> no mention of her by the three brothers. Perhaps she was one of the original residents of this farm. We see lots of free stater stars. Some wood. Should we need wood to craft or cook? Sometimes there is a wolf back here around the back. So I wanted to check that out before we went in. Go in the back door. And in this kitchen we get some more sugar. Which I'll gladly take. Just a few empty beers in their fridge. Why you'd want to refrigerate empty bottles, I couldn't tell you. No mirror to check for Kim's. 
Although we could collect some dirty water, but that's okay. There more wood to gather. Should we need wood? There is a pump. So we don't really need that. Take that typewriter for parts. It's a dead vicious mongrel. I'll leave that cigar. Let's see how we do today. All right, on one pin. So that's the upstairs of house number two. Go out the front door. And on to house number three. And shells, always a plus. Pack of smokes. Cook station. In a sink, source of dirty water. Oh, a good fan. Now, I'm not too worried about looting at the moment because there is a workbench in the barn. Do we have a cane? I'm gonna leave that. Stem pack, I'm gonna take this glove. This will need the leather for when we upgrade any of our armor. Don't need that skull necessarily. A beer bottle in the crib? How much does your kid drink? And I see some radix. Machete. Could take that and break that down. I do prefer the machete as a melee weapon to any of the other choices. Although this cane does seem to yield quite a few mods. I don't find it to be as useful. Would go with either the wrench or the machete. And here we are in the barn. I have a pumpkin. I can make some pumpkin pie. Oh, I didn't mean to eat that. I meant to take that. Campaign hat. Here's our workbench. Let's look at doing a little scrapping here. The cultist blade can also be a good melee weapon. I just don't see that you get any upgrades to it. Let's see if we get a mod out of this. Come on. Nope. About a mod here. Short scope. That's fantastic. Oh, here's a level 10. Perhaps we could use this instead of our level 5. As you can see, a level 10 does more damage than a level 5. So that's an armor workbench. We'll need a weapons workbench. And if we head upstairs here in the barn... Take that aluminum canister. Here's where we find John Ehrenholt. Let's read his last words. Apparently he got attacked by the dogs. Not going to make it. So 
first brother dies of radiation, second brother dies of a infected dog bite. Oh, we get a plan. <clears throat> now, occasionally you also get plans as a result of doing various quests. And I do sometimes forget if you go to items and you go to your notes section. You do need to check occasionally. Yes, here we've picked up some plans. And then also check for recipes, plans and recipes that you may inadvertently forget to read or learn as you pick them up. Oh, I was going to... appears that the sun's coming up. So you can go out here. Here's another excellent location for sniping. I'll run down and investigate that barn real quick. <clears throat> and here, one of the highlights, there's a cook station. One of the highlights is planted out here. Well, we see a... It'd be great if we had this scope on here. Let's see if we can... Lots of good crops down here, but specifically cranberries. But there are also lots of insects. So there's the silo that he was talking about is locked up. Ah, come on. So down here where we killed some dogs, here's a water pump. Should we need more water for cooking? <clears throat> okay. No. Nothing planted here. And I don't recall there ever really being much inside here either. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and go into sneak mode because there are numerous insects down here. I think we're going to get <coughs> some good use of our shotgun. Let's see if I can pick some off, snipe some from a distance first. Oh, there's one. Again, you'll want to travel back here again and again and again. Or even set up a camp nearby. These cranberries are super useful. Now, I'm just going to take four. Because nothing is more frustrating then spending the cash or time to fast travel back here and discovering that <clears throat> all the cranberries have been taken. So I am going to leave some for the other players. But as promised, can make cranberry cobbler and as you see it gives you a bonus of XP so that and the brain fungus soup make for a great combination oh if I really wanted to be smart about it, I would have eaten one of the, just crafted one cobbler, eaten it, and then done all that food and drink crafting. Oh, let's check our stats. <clears throat> let's go ahead 
And as mentioned, let's find our brain fungus soup. Our cranberry cobbler. Is that the only soup we have at the moment? Just drink some water. There we go. That should top us off. <clears throat> now around the back of the farm. Oh. Check the mailbox. Don't need a shot glass. You'll see this little path. So let's follow this path. see here is buzzing bees. The shotgun is one of my favorite. Let's see. We haven't seen sometimes you can sneak up on them, get their take their honey. They don't like that though. Shotgun is excellent for bee swarms. Another bee swarm here. Let's see if we can sneak up and get some honey. Get two honey. I kind of want to make sure I... So we here we have him drinking some beers here in the tub. And we get the key shed and Lowell's last will. So he's bequeathing us at all. I'm going to go ahead and do a little farming here. No more honey to be had? Okay. Now hold still so that I might smite thee. See another off. Do you like this revolver rifle? So let's see if we can get all of our bug corpses. All those blood bugs. <clears throat> and there's sometimes one more that likes to hang out inside the shed. Now this is a pickable lock if you don't have the key, but see as we have the key. Yeah, sometimes there's a bug, sometimes there's a rad roach. Get some goodies here. Oh, on the first go. Look at that. Sometimes there's a suit of power armor here. So we have the weapons workbench here, and we had the armor workbench in the barn. Oh, 
Okay. So while we do have the weapons workbench here, let's oh, need those welding goggles. <clears throat> let's go ahead and see if we can't repair and modify our level 10. So we have this to 65. Here we want to scrap this for mods. Let's see what we get. Now here's our new level 10. Here's our level 5. So let's go ahead and scrap this. Maybe get an additional mod. That would be nice. Come on. Oh, it's favorited. That's why it's not wanting to scrap. Um, usually it'll ask you. <clears throat> I wonder if that's part of this newest update. So let's unfavorite this level 5. And favorite this one. Scrap that. All right. Now let's see what kind of modifying we can do here. Instead of a standard receiver, let's see. We want a true versus a calibrated, I think. long barrel for better range already have a full stock which is good I don't believe all that does is give us melee damage I'm not going to spend our and let's put it on a short scope and no muzzles yet all right, that should improve things. So, on top of our shotgun, let's go ahead and arm and favor it. Or we already have. So let's does 43 damage. See our shotgun. That's good. <clears throat> and then now we have a pretty good sniper rifle. These things are so slow. As you can do it, see it does 65. We'll just keep in mind that we have it. So here we are, set up. Now the next place we want to kind of go, I believe we have enough before we end our video. So we're going to head back this way. Now let's check out the back of this truck first. Nothing in there other than some, here's some food. Plastic plate. A plastic fork. <clears throat> so on our map, we're going to head back this way. Investigate over here.
Now, there are usually some ghouls hanging out around here. Don't know what's going on. There we go. Or scorched. Today we have scorched. Let's see. Darn it. Hey, you. Might be shotgun time. Come on. I'm stuck. Stuck behind this rock. Just gonna run up and say hello. The fun of having the shotgun is you just run up and say hello. I hear some more motion, so there's... There he is. And that's the beauty of the shotgun. And in here, get a treasure map. Broken camera, which is good because it has crystal. Have some good beds to sleep in, should we want to. Got a cook station right here. Oh, overweight. Some good glowing fungus. We can... Some daddy-o. We can read this North Star poem by Michael Oldberry. Thank you for that bit of poetry here in the wasteland. So we got those goodies. I did get, yeah, here's wood should we need it. Some sugar. Don't need a glass pitcher. First aid. I did not look to see if there was a first aid just inside the door over here. A lot of times right inside the cabins is first aid. Um, here we have some more pumpkins. And some carrots. I'm going to go ahead and take all of these. I'm not going to cook them all because I want to plant them. Now that we have our shelter, our next video will do some more, a <coughs> little more uh, involved camp building. Let's go ahead and scrap. So let's see. Oh, 
Oh, it's just a 38 pipe rifle. We don't really need that. Here's our 308. So yeah, we can go ahead and scrap that. Okay. That helps carry weight quite a bit. And we're off to our next location, which is over here. kind of creatures are guarding this location. Nothing yet. Again, there's usually some... Oh, well. These are going to be tough. These guys, these floaters are really rough. See those that little blue business right there? That's going to be one of them. And you want to keep your distance as they do explode. There's another one way down there. Oh, here he comes. Yes, those guys, if you stumble upon a group of them, they can be super tough opponents at any level. I have died numerous times thanks to floaters. So here, get another workbench, Tinker's workbench. Another nice bed to sleep in. Go ahead and get our shotgun shells back. Some adhesive, that's good. Oh, nuclear waste, fan. <clears throat> and let's see what we get from these outbuildings. Toy truck. Shotgun, that's fantastic. Oh, requires a skill of two. Sorry, we only have skill of one at the moment. Oh, I hear... I hear another radio. I don't know if we can... It's up there. It is possible to get up there. It's a bit tricky. To get up on top. Uh, it is possible to get up there. It's just... It's just tough. Let's see. Oh, a quantum. Boil water. Pencil. Mr. Jangles, I'll leave him. Kim Station. Don't need any of that, per se. And in this other building over here, bathtub. gas canister
And that's it. See a little shooting target there. Another target there. And is that a recipe I spy? Excellent. Again, lots of bone. I'm going to try once more the trick to getting on top of that. Ah. All right, ready? Here we go. I did make it on top. So that's the trick for getting up here. Let's turn that off. Hopefully that's not going to create any copyright flags. You can take that banjo and break it down. Unfortunately, you can't tune up here. But that's the trick for getting up here. Yeah, some razor grain out of the deal. All right, as always, thanks for following along. If you enjoyed this content, please give the video a like, thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel. Oh, this is a monitoring system. We'll be looking for these later once you get a quest for these, but that's what that is. We can't do anything with it yet due to having not been given the quest. So again, thanks for following along. Also, if you want to keep receiving these updates, click the notification button, or you can even join as a next level subscriber. There are some benefits to that. All right, thanks again for following along, and we will see you in the next video.